Ian and Mark, how how do y'all get along and run a business together? <laughs> um. So Ian, largely, uh, I like. I think we know each other's boundaries. Imagine for a second, brothers, right? Like there's two people, males, that have put in a situation that they didn't ask for, uh, particularly, and they have, uh, you know, just circumstances have dictated that they are going to be together. And those brothers come to an equilibrium. They love each other in the sense that brothers love each other, but they may not necessarily get along all the time or even most of the time. That's kind of how our business is. We get business done because, well, we both want to get business done and we understand how we have to work with each other. Ian knows he has to give at cer- certain times, even though he doesn't do it on the air, he does in real life. And I know that there's certain areas that Ian's just not going to give on. So uh, we, we just have our boundaries. And Ian? That's a fine answer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, was it? Why did you ask the question? Because we, we somehow, the sometimes we have arguments on seem, on the air. They're pretty. Yeah, they they like get pretty wild. Arguments on the air. Yeah, and you know, and, and like, I mean, I like Ian. I've seen all the freaking videos and stuff like that. And you know, just, I mean, it, it kind of stems from the last week. Uh, last week, when you know, uh, Mark said, you know, he kind of went behind his back and brought Chris back on. Um, so that, that's kind of where it comes from. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Uh, so- Ian did apologize for that one, um, and I think that was a mistake on his part, but, um, you know, nonetheless. Well, you I had mean- him on yesterday, too, and you were on the air with him. Yeah, so what, it- what do I do? <laughs> I lost. I guess you could walk. Yeah, right. I mean, I, I do have that option. Yeah. Um, I could continue to, to uh, sell the ads and, and make the revenue from selling the ads, but uh, I could give up my uh, space on the, the show. Ian could decide whether or not he has he wants to deal with that. Um, you know, he could choose not to have Cantwell on in order to get me back, or um, I could just, you know, go someplace. You could just agree that Cantwell was punished enough, as it seems like you have. Yeah, I, 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 it's a closed, it's a closed matter. I think it could be a closed matter. Um, we'll see how he does in the future. I'm not trying to start anything up. I just, you know, was just curious. That's all, really. Really, I wasn't trying to start anything up. I just was curious. Well, you know, it, it's a show to some extent, right? Like, so, you know, hopefully you can turn off the microphones and still, uh, you know, appreciate one another. And I think that that's, that's true. Uh, but, you know, that's not to say that Mark's faking it when he acts the way he does here on Free Talk Live. I mean, I, he really does believe he's the king of the universe or something I, like that. I hold back um, in real life. Like, you know, everybody's got filters, right? Uh-huh. Uh, I attempt to remove filters. and I, I think Ian does the same thing. I think he just becomes more rigid, frankly, on the air. Like, he doesn't change his mind more. Like, he thinks that that's removing a filter when, in fact, it's it's really just a personality defect. But whatever. Um, uh, you know, what I do is, uh, in real life, I've got the filters I've got. You know, I don't come out slick out of my mouth to my wife, um, but <laughs> but I certainly will to Ian on the air. That's Ian, Ian's uh, Asperger's uh, syndrome that kicks in. That you know, <laughs> He says he doesn't have – he took a test to the internet that says he doesn't have Asperger's. He has it. I, think, I think a lot of libertarians have it, by the way. It's, uh, it's. I think taking a test to the internet to see whether you have it or not <laughs> is kind of the definition of Asperger's. You know, hey, but here's one of the things I've what? seen – Here's one of the things I've seen in the chat. A lot of people notice that you guys get into it, and you really get into it. Of course, Ian doesn't seem like he really does. Mark gets into it, and then Ian just keeps pushing the buttons. Push, 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 push. <laughs> and then the break happens, and then everything stops. People, yeah. Headphones go off. People look back down at the computers. They go typing away, or they go walk off and get a drink or make some Doritos or something. Yeah. And it's like, what, what happened? It's just – and then – Two minutes later, the show kicks back on, and it's, like it, three. Ne- it's, it's yeah. like it never happened. Like hitting the play button. It's yeah. like it never happened. So, I mean, I... I that's good for ratings, right? Well, that's, that's, we'll that's the question. It's like, are you guys acting? <laughs> no, absolutely not. And I don't I think don't so, because so, I've but... seen you guys enough times. I know the first time I ever heard you guys uh, fighting, this is before I even moved to New Hampshire, and I was scared for Ian. <laughs> he is a murderer, convicted murderer. Right. That's a, Ian's job is to go to convicted killer, right? And like he, he seems to relish it on a nightly basis. Hey, thanks, Michael, for your call. I appreciate the concern.